hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and learn how to import data into our uh, import a data set into our mysql workbench and begin to learn how to use mysql so learn how to just import download the database a, a very commonly used database we'll just download it to learn the very basics later on we'll switch to other databases but i just want to use this commonly available database for you to guys to learn the basic because it has a lot of documentation anywhere you want to read more you can always find content online okay so i'm going to use this database and it's readily available you can find the link to that database download in the description of the video so once you open up the link in the description it should bring you to this page right here and you can simply just click on this download part right and just simply save that and that should go ahead and download the database already so you can see i have two downloads let me just go ahead and close this one part okay so let me just go ahead and uh, show this in uh, in folder so once i show it the folder i'm going to go ahead and extract all so once I, have, I i'm going to extract it to this file so now i can see i have extracted it right here so good so if you open up uh, this file you can see we have the extracted one right here so good we have it already downloaded so i downloaded it twice unfortunately but uh, uh, now we have it downloaded okay so now how do we go ahead and load it into my sql workbench so uh, let's go ahead and actually open up my sql so just going ahead and open up my sql workbench and once my sql workbench is open up just click on local instant local host uh, this and then simply type in your password it's going to be root and then simply press enter and this is going to go ahead and simply open up the 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 mysql workbench right here. so you can see this is how my sql workbench looks like so you can just go ahead and click on schemas and you can see we have some available databases databases that we uh, we installed whenever we click on samples uh, and uh, examples during installation of mysql it has uh, installed some database that you can use so if you go here, you can see we have some database that you can use but we'll be using the database that database that uh, we just downloaded because it's much more common and it's for uh, it's for uh, classical classical models is about database about uh vehicles and other stuff like that okay uh yeah i believe it's about vehicles and other stuff like that so let's go ahead and actually open up the load up that database what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to go ahead and uh, go into data mm, i think it's server and then go into uh data import okay so click on server and then data import now you want to go ahead and click on import uh from self-contained file and then just click on that and then go ahead and, and load up open up this file and then click open Okay, so once you open it, let me just go ahead and close uh, the side panels and this uh, uh, output window right here. So let me just uh, press these buttons right here. So now you can see now it's open up right here. So uh, once you can, you can see a button right here, it's a, a bit hidden on my screen. Uh, I don't know why it, it gets hidden on my screen, but you can see about a button right here at the bottom and it's just going to say start import. So just make sure you click this button right here. Just look where my mouse is uh, right here. Just make sure you click that button right here. Okay, it just happens to be hidden for me in some cases so just go ahead and click on that button to uh, begin the import so once it's done importing uh, we are good to go so if you go up here and just click on this refresh button right here click on that refresh button now you can find we have another database called classical uh classic models which is which is the database that you're going to be using okay so you can just go ahead and uh, click on that click on tables and then you can just click on this right here and you can see all the content inside of that table right so you can see all that information you can click on employees gonna show you the employee information you can click on offices it's going to show you the offices and all that information right so you can just go ahead and try to uh, get yourself familiarized with the database this is this is a database we'll be using to learn the very basics of sql later on you might shift to other databases and other stuff like that so don't worry about all this that you see right here we'll explain all this in upcoming videos okay so don't worry about all this that you see right here we'll explain all this in upcoming videos okay so let me just uh, move this a bit down so right here so good so yeah that's basically it uh, how you can load the data into my sql workbench so see you in the next one i'll be learning how to uh, query this database and do very basic stuff with this database